Hey everyone, in today's very short video, I'm going to show you how I use reference tracks without any plugins like Magic AB. It's a very popular plugin that people use to reference and those are great plugins. I've used them in the past, but this is a Pro Tools exclusive. I don't know how it's done in other DAWs and also it has to, your routing has to be set up a certain way and I have a video on how I route so that I can print my mix instead of bouncing my mix. Okay, so for example, I'm going to I'm just going to play the chorus part of it of this uh, mix that I'm working on. Let me just put it right here, and if I play just uh just a few seconds of it, just so you can get an idea. Okay, so if I were to bounce this mix uh, on a Mac, I would hold down Alt, Command, and B. And then I would, you know, I, I would just bounce it like this. But I like to print my mix. Why? I think, A, because I come from uh, analog world, and, and, and B, I feel that I have more control of it. And, and I, exp I, I go into more details in my other videos. So if you would like to use this way of printing your mix instead of bouncing your mix, uh, go check out that video. I'll leave the link in the description below. But here I have my print track. Okay, and you can see here I have my input monitor. So if I turn that off, nothing will play. Not, you, you don't hear any audio. But if I input, because everything is routed through this, now you're gonna hear my mix. Okay, and then if I record, you're gonna see down here that's gonna start to print this track. Okay, so let me just get rid of that. All right, so why am I showing you this? Because what I like to do is I like to use this to reference my mixes. So for example, I can do one or two things and I already have it set up here. Um, if I go to, you know, let's say I wanna create a new playlist, right? And I call this, let's call this reference. I already have one already set up for you, but uh, to show you, but I'm, I'm just showing you what I would do. And then from here, I would import the the MP3 or the audio file. Usually it's either mixes that I I like uh, from other engineers. I, and I do have a short playlist of tracks that I use to reference. And I'll bring them in here. Or I can use a rough demo of the mix itself. Usually I do that right before I start mixing. And, and if, especially if I tracked the, the artist, I will do a quick rough print because usually the, the artist or the client is kind of happy with the recording process. And sometimes they'll have what is called demo-itis and they kind of fall in love with the demo. And then when you send the final mix, they're like, oh, but it doesn't sound like the, the demo. Well, it's not supposed to sound like demo. The demo is just the, the recording, the rough, the rough recording. Uh, nothing was done to it. So sometimes that happens, but I, I use the demo rough uh, for balancing purposes or just to see um, the difference, you know, that because you do want to enhance the mix. Okay, so, so I would just import the audio track and I will hit Shift, Command, I. Then I will find the file and then I would just copy it. Okay, but I'm not gonna do that because I, I already did that for you. And I have it over here as reference one. Okay. And here is a, a, a demo or an older mix of this song. So let me let me just get rid of this. Okay. So now, if I were to press play, I'm going to hear the mix I'm working on. I'm gonna do that right now. Okay. But if I remove the input monitor, now I'm going to hear this track and this track alone, like this. So as you can see, 
that is the you listening to this rough mix i call it a car test because i was doing some uh, on all the mix on this and then if you want to level match or balance because you know you, you want to level match it so you can kind of hear what 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 the difference is do not use this because then that's going to affect your mix instead use what's it called input gain yeah the input gain here okay and then try to level match it okay and then you use this input monitor as your a b button like this And that's it. And that's pretty much how I reference tracks without using any plugins or any like, or going outside of your DAW. Like let's say you have Spotify open and you have to now open that, play it, listen to it or reference it, then go back to your DAW, play it and reference. There's just too many steps there and you can't do a true AB. You wanna do a true AB as fast as you can. And for me, this is the best way to work because I can bring in any music file that I have. And if I want to reference another track, let's say something I was, I was working on, I'll just create a new playlist or a new track within this. For example, here I have this track called Everything, Rough Mix, and this is a completely different song. So right now, all I'm referencing is the track and maybe I'm listening to the drums or maybe I'm listening to the vocals or maybe I'm listening to uh, the balancing of the guitars or, or whatever you, you reference at that moment. And here, I'll, I'll play it real quick and then I'll, I'll end the video because this is, this is just a short video. Here we go. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you, you like the content that I provide, if you feel I provide value, please like and subscribe. It really helps with the channel. And until next time, happy mixing.